All right, here's another quick study tip. So the focus of this video will be on how to effectively learn a particular topic for any subject. And the first step is the internet. Now, if you're at school or university, you might have lectures, classes, or textbooks as your main go-to resource. Now, although this was the case for me, it was never actually the first place I went to to understand the things being taught. And instead, it was Google and more specifically YouTube. And this is such a great resource because oftentimes content is explained in both interesting and succinct ways, which makes it very easy to understand. And the purpose of this step is to just understand the content, which might only take one to two short videos and a couple of quick Google searches. And even though this might take up some time initially, it does save a lot of effort down the line. All right, so second step, after you have a basic understanding, now it's a good time to re review your lectures, classes, or textbooks, because they will contain information more tailored towards whatever study design you're doing. Now, the final step is to teach. This step is important because even though some people might watch a five minute YouTube video and feel like the biggest genius, the unfortunate reality is that we often don't actually know what we don't know. And this is why during exams, we are often surprised by a question that's testing something that we might have missed during our revision. So to combat this and to round out your learning, I recommend something called the Feynman Technique, which is based on the premise that if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it. So there's many ways to approach this, but one way is just to pick a concept that you've learnt and act as if you were the teacher teaching this subject or practice writing it down in the simplest form possible. And when you're doing this, it's very important to pay attention to the words that you're using. If you're using complicated wording, see if you can simplify that down so that a child or someone that hasn't done this topic before can understand it easily. And second, always ask why something is the case. Because oftentimes, exams want you to understand and apply the information. So that's why it's very important to understand the why. So the advantages of this is that you'll be able to understand the content in a more well-rounded fashion. And the biggest limitation is that it might not be suited to every topic. For example, this technique is suited for those areas that rely on understanding rather than just memorizing. So I just like to view this Feynman technique as just another tool in your study toolbox. Use it when it's needed, but never use a hammer when you're meant to use a screwdriver. All right, that's it for this tips video. Hope that was helpful.